So I'm on a project site right now, and we have been getting this question a lot more lately, especially with a lot of people working at home over the past two years. That's become a huge trend. And you may be one of those people that is considering putting a home office into your house, but you may be wondering, am I going to get that money back? Is this going to be a wise investment to spend tens of thousands of dollars to put an office into my house or to expand maybe and put an office or put an office in an entirely different building on your property. Well, I wanna talk about that a little bit, and the project that I'm in is a little bit more of an extreme variety, because this is actually built in the homeowners, in a, in a detached building that the homeowner had on their property. And while I go through this, I'm gonna kinda of do some, uh, I have some beginning to end pictures that I was given, and you can take a look at these and kind of get some inspiration maybe from them. But the big thing to remember is that the cost of these projects can vary tremendously. Obviously, a bedroom can be a wonderful option for you to just put a desk in there and that fourth bedroom or guest room can be your home office. But that's not really what I'm talking about here because the expense of that, there really isn't one. You're just losing a bedroom. What I'm talking more specifically about is taking that garage space and maybe putting an office in there or going into the attic or a space above the garage or maybe in the basement or in addition even, that's gonna get even more expensive. Um, so as far as a scale goes, the cheapest thing you're gonna be able to do is just take what you have now, or take the room that you have now and turn it into a bedroom. But if you really are thinking about making a whole new space, um, you're going to be adding living space um, or at least office space, and those can be different depending on your code. Uh, if you're not sleeping in it, that can change things as well. But I would caution you to think long term. When you go to sell your house, yes, a lot more people are looking for offices than they were before because a lot more people are working in their homes now than they used to. However, Let's say that person doesn't work from home or maybe they're retired, but they have other needs. They have an in-law or they have an adult child or they have somebody who's a dependent that needs a space of their own. Well, your office space may serve that dual function. So when you're thinking about this space, consider a bathroom. And if you have the room for a half bath, I would consider possibly going to a full bath. Put that extra shower space in there. It's only a 48 inch by let's say 33, 35 inch, depending on the shower or whatever you're putting in there. And you can always do a tile so it's a custom size if you have a little bit of an odd area that you're trying to squeeze it into. But making it a full functioning bath can add a in-law suite appeal to that buyer who may come through. So office spaces are a huge thing now that they were not before. Now, when you put that in, does that mean that every buyer that comes through is gonna need that space? No. Does that guarantee that you're gonna get all your money back for it? No, we haven't gone far enough to really be able to prove that. We're only two years into this huge trend of working from home, but it does seem to be something that's going to kind of stick with us. So if you need an office space, I would say go for it, especially if you're gonna be able to use that for the next three, five, seven years. You're going to get some value out of it just by using it, but, if you are going to sell it, let's say five to six years down the road, yes, you're going to get some value back from that because most people are going to find it, uh, find value in it themselves. So all that to say, if you are thinking about a home office, uh, definitely something you're on the right track. Talk to your contractor, get your head wrapped around the numbers, how much it's going to be, and then you will have a better idea of whether you should go for it or not. So obviously, if you have questions, please reach out to us. We're always happy to help, and we will talk to you on the next video.